right, to, to demons, and right. demons are coming and meeting their needs. Now, these met needs, they all come with a proviso. It's you give me your soul, right. I give you yeah. your prosperity. Yeah. Why? The devil said, I will be like the most high God. So right. We give our soul to God, and God gives us his blessing. Right. And then, but the Bible says the blessings of the Lord are rich, and they had no sorrow. Right. But the blessings of the devil are rich, but they had destruction. Yes. Why? Great and wide is the road that leads to destruction. But right. we enter by the narrow gate. That doesn't mean that, that um, oh, the world is so much more fun. They have way more ways to do fun stuff. No. What it means is that the way of God is narrow because there's only one way to him. Yeah, that's good. It doesn't mean, oh, walking. I saw this crazy Christian girl on TV, and she, she was doing this um, this uh, competition. She's on this, like, tricycle on this little, little <laughs> this little like, uh, platform that was over water. And she was like a radical Christian, talking about her faith all the time on TV, but her lifestyle did not align up to it. So as soon as stuff hit the fan, she was cussing everybody out. <laughs> but you know, you gotta give her grace, right? Because I'll cuss somebody out too. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. So she's on the thing, right? She's riding her little bike, she's wobbling, she's like, the path of the Lord is straight now. The path of the Lord is straight now. I was sitting there thinking, oh. <laughs> I mean, that's not the scripture you use to stay on the thin board, but it just means that our path to get to the to God is a straight and narrow path. It's just one way to God. It's Jesus. Amen. Wow. Right? That was funny. In there, I knew she fell off. <laughs> Bless you, girl. Make us all look crazy, right? Amen. But you don't get to God through Buddha. Right. Amen? Right. You don't get to God through Muhammad. No. Muhammad is the number one name in the world, the most common name. Really? Muhammad? Why? Okay, um, no offense if that's your name. I apologize. But, see, I make a mistake. Give me grace, right? But um, you don't get to God through, um, through you, don't, you don't get to the Father through just simply living right, doing right. The path to God is straight and narrow, one way. Yes, you will. Amen? Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is yes. Lord. Amen? Yes. And so the, the, the Bible isn't coming to give you limitations that you can't do this, you can't do that. No, it's just saying the path to God is through His Son. Mm -hmm. And He's a God of grace. Yeah. Which means He is a blesser, a giver. So God doesn't come into your life and, and contain you. He comes into your life and He frees you. Mm -hmm. So, cast your cares upon the one who cares about you. Not the one who hates you, the devil. Yeah. Not the little Wayne and his music on the radio. <laughs> Not Beyonce, not shots of alcohol, not cigarettes, not marijuana. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Cast your cares on the one who cares for you. Don't find yourself going to things other than God for for your victory, yeah. for your encouragement, yeah. to uplift you. Amen? Yeah. Okay. What does this mean? The devil has placed all these things in your path for you to cast your cares to. Now, you have to see the trick of the enemy and decide, I'm going to cast down that thought, place it in captivity. I'm not going to allow myself to think when I go through things, I need alcohol. I'm not going to let myself think that when I go through things, I just need a cigarette. Yeah. I just need to hear that one song. When someone ticks me off, I got to go and get to the anger music to make myself feel like I'm not a pushover. No. Cast the thoughts down yes. and put them in captivity, or they will become strongholds in your life. Right. right. Amen? Right. Yeah. Right? So check it out. The devil uses your thoughts against you to create strongholds. Okay, then a demon is now assigned to you according to that stronghold. There is an actual demon assigned to you according to the stronghold. There are many demons assigned to you, but there are ones who are assigned specifically for a certain stronghold. Yeah. I mean, it's a demon specifically for your anger. A demon, see, now demons are, are, are one-dimensional. That's how dumb they are. Check it out. They're one-dimensional. They don't have functions. See, we're multifaceted. I can be angry and sad at the same emotion and look crazy. Right? I, I can draw, I can sing, I can dance, I can run. I'm multifaceted, right? We are multifaceted. God is multifaceted. Demons are one dimensional, so they have one way of functioning. If a, if a demon is of anger, he is of anger. If a demon is of depression, he's of depression. If it's a spirit of suicide, suicide will team up with anger and work together to make you angry. Depression will come in and then lead you to suicide. But they're all different spirits and different functions. Okay? So a demon for a stronghold. Okay? So you have to understand, when your thoughts are not put in captivity, then a stronghold develops. And then a spirit takes authority, not over your sin, over your soul. Right. Okay? And then from your soul, he then influences you to feed him. Oh, it sounds gross. But literally, feeding off of you. 
for validation, for significance, right. to to exist physically because right. he can't. It's a parasite. See what I'm saying? And it's a mockery of Jesus who the Holy Spirit comes in and uses. Yeah. It's a mockery of Jesus. See what I'm saying? You have to understand that the Bible says God cannot be mocked. The devil's still going to try. Amen? He's going to try to get you to renounce your faith. Amen? We'll try to get you to put trust and effort in yourself. Anything to stop you from being at rest. Anything he can to stop you from being at rest. Church, the more you give authority to the devil, the more he will reveal himself to you. The devil's like this. If you see him, he'll see you. The Bible says, if you draw near to God, he draws near to you. The devil said, I'll be like the most high God. You draw near to him, he draws near to you. The devil has no authority to attach himself to you. You have to draw near to him first. Okay? Which we, we've all learned from um, growing up in church. Gateways. Remember, remember that? You know, talking about KC? Oh, open up them gateways. You're going to close them doors. You're going to learn today, right? And open up them gateways. And they say, no one of the movies. Why? I watch more movies. Why? They're opening up gateways. You know what I'm saying? It, it's true. It is true. But greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Amen? So you go in with the protection. God, the Holy Spirit goes above. For you. Amen. Amen? Okay, so I really want to be very clear. That's the functions of, of the enemy. They're personalities. They're not goblins. They're personalities. You see what I'm saying? The Bible says principalities and powers. Principalities, um, the root word to that is prince. Okay? And princes are angels. Princes are angels, okay? And those angels are evil angels, but powers are demons. Just authorities, personalities, things that are coming to just use their authority against you. Amen? So it's important that we understand that and know that. Everybody clear? Okay. I never read the scripture, did I? Okay, yes, I did. Okay, let's, let's read it one more time. Verse 7. Casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Who cares for you? Jesus. Cast your cares on him. Okay? Verse 8. Be sober. Be, be vigilant. Now, when, I, when it says be sober, don't think, don't drink alcohol, because that's really extreme. Being sober is having a clear mind. Okay. Sober is not only related to alcohol. Sober is just related to thinking clear. Okay? Okay, be sober, be vigilant. The reason why I said that is because people like to argue about that, so I did a lot. It, it just annoys me. The Bible says be sober. It's like, yeah, that means don't be under law, be under grace. Have a clear mind who Jesus is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't yeah. try to turn stuff into weird things that aren't really true. You know? Amen? Okay, one more time. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Check it out, verse 9. We don't, we don't resist him in not sinning. firm against him. Resist him steadfast in what? In your faith. Yeah, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. Right. Okay? Look at around at your brotherhood. We are all of the faith. How we resist the devil, church, is in our faith. Amen? We resist the devil in our faith. You don't resist the devil by trying not to sin. Right? You don't post scriptures on the wall and try to defeat your sin. No, you have faith in Jesus. You have faith. Amen? Resist the devil steadfast in the faith. Yes. Resist the devil steadfast in the faith. That's how weak the devil is. He's beaten by your mind. Amen? Stay in faith.